So in this video we're going to keep looking at the written method for subtraction, and this time borrowing across zeros, which can be a little bit confusing. So again, numbers are all underneath each other in the correct columns. We're starting with the units column and we're making sure that we're doing the top number take away the bottom number, not the other way around. So 6 take away 8, we can't do, we've got to borrow from the next column, but there's nothing there. So we've got to then go to the next column along. And that's an important thing to remember with chimney sums, is that we've got to go one column at a time. Whether we're going up or back, we need to make sure that we're stopping at each column on the way. So we're going from the units to the tens. There's nothing in the tens, so we're now jumping up to the hundreds. We're scoring out the 300, writing a 2, and we're dropping off the 100 into the tens column. We can't just jump straight into the units. So we're going the 100 into the tens column, which is 10 lots of 10 or 100. So the 100 is in the correct place. 10 lots of 10 is now in the tens column. If we go back to our units column now and go up to our tens, we can borrow a 10 now because we've got 10 lots of 10. In this case, it's a 10 that we're scoring out and we're writing a 9 in the place. And the extra 10 then follows into the units column. So the 200 and the extra 100, which made up the 300 to begin with, have just been slightly moved. We've not done anything else to them. We've not taken them out yet. We've just shifted them around. So 16 take away 8 is 8, 9 lots of 10 take away 2 lots of 10 is 7, 7 lots of 10, and 2, 100 take away 100 is 100. Final example I'll show you today is one with two zeros in it, which again, children can sometimes find a little bit confusing. So if we've got 300... Um, take away 100 and 77. We've got no units, take away 7 units, which we can't do. We've got to stop at the 10s. We've got no 10s there either. Stopping at the 100s, borrow 100 drop it back off in the tens column. Back to the units again, we still don't have any units, but if we jump up to the tens, now we do have tens that we can borrow, we've got 10 of them. So we're scoring out the 10, writing a nine, dropping off the 10 into the units. So now we've got a 10, take away a seven, which is three. Nine lots of 10, take away seven lots of 10. 90 take away 70, which gives us two lots of 10, or 20. And 200 take away 100, which is 100.